People that say that crime only happens in poor areas, today's video comes to us from one of the wealthiest zip codes in America. Hi friends, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from Sherman Oaks, California. Today's video brought to you by New Way Ford. New Way helps people all over the country find the right new or used car at the best price with incredible service. We bought Mrs. Asp's 2021 Bronco Sport from New Way and I'm a satisfied customer. If you see me rolling in my New Way Ford F-150, come say hi and let New Way give you a quote on your next vehicle purchase. Sherman Oaks is an upper class neighborhood here, but it's got crime like anywhere else. And watch these two guys kind of come by, decide that this guy and his lady at the table are their people. And so the dude's just gonna pull a gun out of his waistband and show it to them and be like, yo man, I want your jewelry because guy is apparently flaunting a pretty nice watch. So the grab man's gonna grab that, gonna grab the lady's watch as well. These guys are gonna run off. Now let's watch it one more time. So they're just enjoying their meal or whatever, chilling out. Now watch, second guy comes by, they establish, hey, these are the people that I think we want to target. So he's just gonna now turn around. Absolutely no shame though, of course he's wearing a mask, putting the hood over his face, and that's acceptable in this day and age. So he's gonna show the gun with the stendo. They are gonna give up their stuff. Robbers walk away, we get lessons. This town sits in Los Angeles County in California. You wanna guess how many CCW permits have been issued in that county? 238 as of 2020. I don't have 2021 numbers. I wonder why that doesn't deter crime. Let's think about lessons. Couple of start things on this one. Number one, uh, it is a general truism that if you live in a nicer neighborhood, you live in a higher class neighborhood, money generally will isolate you from crime and make it less likely you're a victim of violent crime such as this. But it's not foolproof 100%. We could see that here. And again, Sherman Oaks is a nice town, except for it's it's got like you know 27th percentile in terms of safety. It's pretty low on the safety scale. Number two, you're gonna be out in those places. Hey, I get it. You wanna have nice jewelry, show nice stuff, have your nice watch and all those things. Just recognize it can make you a victim. And number three, nobody is like Jack Reacher in reality or you know Jason Bourne who's gonna be able to defend themselves from everything. Sometimes you put yourself in a spot where the bad guy gets to jump on you and you're just gonna have to take an L. And I think that's kind of what we see here. So watch now, these guys are kind of looking around and dude kind of pays attention to them a little bit. But when he pulls a gun and starts showing it to him, what are you gonna do in this particular situation? Now, quite frankly, the guy here is who he is focused on probably doesn't have a lot of opportunity here. His, his opportunity here is purposeful compliance to be able to maybe earn an opportunity to launch a counter ambush. But I want you to notice that the lady here actually is, is not being targeted. She's not being paid attention to. So a lot of times ladies, you can actually be a much more effective self defender because if she has a 1.5 draw to first shot here, she can get this guy and there's not a whole lot he's gonna be able to do about it because he's turned his back even a 2.0 draw the first shot here, she has him. Whereas the guy in this particular case, number one, dude has his eyeballs on him and the gun on him. Number two, he's got a grab man right next to him. So our guy here might have been able to try a disarm attempt, but from a seated position, that is a low percentage attempt. Probably better here to try to buy your way out of it by giving the guy your watch. So ladies, please hear me. You are an important part of self-defense and you can't just offload that responsibility to the guy in your life because you may be the one who needs to respond because they're going to pay a lot of attention to him. It's not for a long while they actually pay attention to her. Now, again, in this particular case, okay, fine. Gave him the watches, whatever those watches were, I'm not sure, and, and then they run off. So he bought his, his you know life on that stuff. Guy ended up not shooting them. Nobody's hurt, but they're out the money, out the watches, and that's not okay. Obviously, aggravated assault and aggravated robbery here is egregious and wrong. But the big lessons out of this one, number one, you're not gonna win them all. Number two, compliance might be the best bet. But number three, ladies, you are so important because if she was a self-defender, if she was properly armed, and if she had her tools on her person, she might have been able to be the one that stopped this guy from being a deadly threat to everybody in that restaurant. So ladies, you have a job to do in covering your ASP.